It's very quick to use and it's very, very effective. Hello, this is BJ from Hearns Hobbies. I'm gonna be talking about these sort of weathering um, products that make it quite easy for you to just start weathering or you just wanna add a little bit of enhancement to a model that you're building. So right here, I've got a selection of the Tamiya Weathering Master packs. Now, they're, they're in a uh, letter type configurations. Unfortunately, we're missing one. So I'm missing the D pack, but they've got the A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. Now the A set has got the, uh, the sort of dirt type effects in it. So you've got sand, light sand and mud. The B set has got the, um, the snow, the soot and the rust. The D set, which is missing, has got the burnt blue, the burnt red and the oil stains, which is quite good for using on um, uh, exhaust and engine details. C has got the rust, the gunmetal and the silver. And then you've got the E set, which is for dry brushing. So it's got a variety of these muted tones. And then you've got F, which has got the metallic weatherings. So you've got titanium, gunmetal and copper. And then with the G and the H, these are very much for toning figures. So they're all the different flesh tones in there. Okay, so I'm gonna show you how they work. Uh, we've got a couple that we use quite often. So we've got the B set and the E set here already opened. I've got a little sample sprue here, which uh, Warwick's been playing with previously. So he used that to show you how he did his washes. And so I guess that probably works well. I can show you how the weathering um, powders can work on top of that. All right, so let's have a quick look at one first. I'll crack it open. All right, so there's your little packet. It's in a solid plastic container, which is very handy. Got the windows here so you can quite easily see which ones you're using. And then it just has this click catch here. So we'll just lift it up. And there you see them here. So it's very much like a, uh, a make <clears throat> makeup compact. There's actually very fine pigment, pigments which are held together in a wax base. So same as like a Vallejo or any other brands, very fine powdered pigments. They've been put together in this waxy base so that it's very easy to apply and it'll stay adhered onto the surface. Okay, so we've got our different colors here. You'll notice how we've um, used them in different ways. I mean, we've scraped these ones off and, um, and smeared them on, but it comes with this applicator type tool here so you've got a sponge end here and then there's a brush end here so the sponge end is a uh, firmer so it's easy to apply first with this uh, so it is soft so it doesn't damage the surface and then the brush is actually a very soft brush and you can use that for blending and then of course you can use other uh, tools as well so we've used uh, other brushes uh, toothpicks and such all right now let's pop that here all right, so let's do an example on, let's say this part here, which uh, Warwick is already quite heavily washed in the black. And we could do a very high contrast uh, edging along here. So I'll choose this, the snow effect here, because it's like a white. Just rub it across the top. You see it coming up here. So de depending on how heavy you want it. So you notice that we've already used this, so it's got a little bit of other color in it. So you got that there, you can rub it off on the edge there, soften it, okay. And then you just gently rub it across the edges. So you see how that's coming through now? It's giving you a little definition. And that's being applied much more heavily and you can see just how it's actually covered up the wash now. Now, if you make a mistake and you don't like that, well, you can actually just you rub it off. And as you can see, the wash has come back in the dark section. So I just repeat that. So as you rub it in, you see how it gently just covers over. Okay, and just by using this particular applica applicator, you can do that to blend it along the edge. You see that? And then you can even push along the highlights on the top edges as well. 
and see how that's coming through there. So very easy to do and then of course you've got the brush end here and the brush end you can just use and that just does a softer blend. Let's see if we can show it up here maybe. Let's see how that, I'll show you up the front there too. So it's a very subtle effect but definitely a very noticeable effect. Okay so this was the white. Now let's see if I can do it with something in totally different colors. Let's try this this rusty effect. Okay, let's just concentrate it around here on this edge. So you can just see that red brown coming through. As simple as that. And then you just manipulate it. It will be your finger. Just rub it back a bit. And then you can even soften it with a brush. Okay, it's probably a bit easier to see there. So really quite simple. All right, so this, that's on a weathered piece here. So this is a very clean piece. Let's give it a go here. It's probably gonna be easier to see with a darker color. All right, so let's do this soot. Okay, so just imagine you want, um, say, some soot patterns going down, like streaks. So you apply it like this, in various spots. Okay, so I rubbed it across the edge, and then across the face, and then you can blend it. See that coming through. So sometimes you can see the applicator is a bit chunky. So a fine brush would probably help with some of this blending. Like so. Then of course you can do the full edge. And then you can rub it in and control the amount of, uh, of weathering. So you can see there, so this was a matte finish and as it's going along it is grabbing onto that matte surface so it's basically staining across the top. So totally different look to a wash, it's a much more gritty effect and usually you use this at the stage after you do your washes. Like so. So as you can see, it's very easy to use. Let's just uh, try a different set here. Okay, so we've gone through all those on that set. All right, this is a dry brushing set. Now this is gonna be much more uh, delicate in look because the tones are very muted. All right, so this one here are very darkened up. Let's try it with this one here. And as you put it over the cross, it's going to lighten that section and blend it. So you can see how it's totally changed the look of it there. So just with various combinations, You can easily control the different look. So you see how this panel looks totally different to this now? So that also gives it a lot more interest. And it gives a much more worn look because everything is so um, non-uniform. And then we can play around with a bit of blue. And then there's a touch of green. And the great thing is because it's got that wax base in it, it's just sitting there where you applied it. So unlike a dry um, pigment, which will just come off and you'll need a pigment fixer, 
this is an instant resort and then because it's, it's semi um, uh, permanent it means you can adjust it at a later stage now just say you've done all that and you're happy with the result it's quite easy just to seal it all together with a spray or a brush over the top of some flat clear so that's a simple method of using some weathering powders now the Tamiya weathering master sets are very handy to have uh, it's very quick to use and it's very very effective so that is my quick tutorial on how to use the Tamiya weathering master packs and showing you the various colors and how you can use it and manipulate it.